Hey everybody, back again at the shop at XS Motor Works. Um, here's a big update. Within the last few weeks, I've teamed up with Rashad and Brian 100% on this thing. Um, we're actually, we have a, have a pretty crazy deadline. So in a few weeks from now, we have the MR2 uh, Nationals in Dallas, Texas. Our plan is to get the motor mounted in this thing and send the mounts to Hux to make his jigs and fixtures and make some final mounts for us. And then we're gonna, basically this car, here, let me spin around and show you. This car is a little rough right now. This is gonna be our race car. This is what we're gonna build it out of. But at the moment, this thing's not close to being ready. So, um, what I've decided to do is my red MR2, that's my personal MR2, um, I blew the motor, cracked the block, and broke a couple ring lands a few months ago, and I've been building a new motor, which is right over here. So I just got it all sprayed up. It's bored out um, just a little bit just to clean it up, and I got some forged internals for it and everything. So anyway, with that being said, I want to make my own custom turbo kit and everything for that, for my red MR2. That's not going to be done by the MR2 Nationals. I know this already. So what the plan is, is when we get the mounts back from Eric, we are going to take the Tesla motor and put it in my red MR2. The body's pretty nice. I'm going to put some of my carbon parts on it and uh, we'll be able to show you guys the, the Tesla motor, how it's going to be mounted and people could see it in person. Um, I doubt we're going to have it running. Um, we may, um, we might just put some batteries in it just so we could putz around on and off the trailer and just show people that it moves. Um, uh, but that's a, it's a big, big step in the right direction here because now I actually have some real, um, support behind me and I'm not trying to do it all myself on my own. I mean, um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'll have some time lapse of what we're doing. We're going to work on it on Saturdays, um, and maybe after work. Uh, a few nights a week to, to get the mounts, the temporary mounts where they need to be, get the motor lined up and then send that to Eric. So he has some time to get his final mounts done. And then we have time to put it in my car. So, all right, hope you enjoy. <music> At this point, we got the motor out of the chassis, our temporary mounts were done, and our buddy Sean took the motor to Huck's Racing in Alabama. He got to see Eric's super light SW20, hang out with them, see their shop, and Eric spent the next couple of weeks um, thinking about and designing and fabricating the new mounts. So. Um, we got a little time between a project and we decided to go out there, me and Brian, and check it out. So here we go. Kenny, where are we at? 
Hawks are racing. All right, we are at Hux Racing. What's up, Eric? Hello, Anthony. This is the first time we're seeing this in person. First time ever. It's not like we walked in this building first before we shot and saw it. <laughs> we didn't, I swear. We set none of this up. <laughs> Beautiful. The mounts are amazing. So this side does not have a mount, that's the inverter. Tesla does not have a mount on that side. Oh, well, this, so, is, this is thin wall aluminum. Yeah, they do not have a mount in the Tesla, so we do not need one in the MR2, just so everybody knows, because that was a question that came up. But look at these beefy mounts. Beautiful. We'll go back down here. Here we go. That's a better view of that one. So you get all your stock bolt points. This motor pretty much... Looks like it was supposed to be here. And as I said in the other video, that uh, if it looked like there was too much load on these four M10s, we could always bring braces up to the uh, stock. Yeah, yeah. So it's five, stock five, stroke five, brace position. Five hundred foot pounds of torque, rope, approximately. Five hundred. Five hundred. With the batteries we're going to have now. Yes. And then I want to swap out the inverter and make it a thousand. <laughs> Research and design, wreck and destroy, whatever. <laughs> we're good at that part. <laughs> we'll figure it out. And then we're going to race Kyle. So, Kyle, this is almost your call out. This is not the call out yet because we're not fast yet. <laughs> oh, Renee's here. Hello. Hi. Oh, and we brought Penny. What's up, Penny? And she shit on the floor. That's the first th first thing she did. Aww. Shit on the floor. Come here, Penny. Come here. Alright, we're going to take this thing out, we're going to load it in the truck, bring it back, and put it in ours. 